Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to talk about which technologies, which programming languages you should learn before looking into Solidity. Because the thing is, it's still very, very few books, very few tutorials and very few online videos you can watch on Solidity. So which languages should you learn instead or at least know how to use before learning Solidity because those languages might be easier to learn. So we're going to talk about that today. Also, guys, you might be wondering wh where is the plant, wh where is the room, and thing is, uh, I'm working in London for two months, so I am actually in London, and I'm here before everyone else in the office, and <laughs> I'm in this conference room, uh, and so this looks really weird because I have uh, taken some boxes to set up the camera at the correct level, so if someone sees this, it's like, what is this new crazy guy doing? But whatever, so guys, which languages should you learn? I would say you should learn Java. Of course, this is very subjective and really any programming experience will help you. But why do I say Java? Number one, there is so many tutorials on Java online. There are so many books, so many resources you can use to learn Java. Uh, and Java is totally based on classes. Everything in Java is a class. Why is that important? Well, because in Solidity, in Ethereum, we have contracts and those are very much like classes. So that is why I think Java is a superior choice. Of course, you could take JavaScript instead. But the problem with JavaScript is that it, it doesn't have these um, classes in the same way as Java has. Of course, you can do classes in JavaScript and you can do uh, object-oriented programming. And even in the later versions of JavaScript, like ES6, they actually have added syntactic sugar for classes. So you can actually write a class as you would in Java. But then you need to be sure that you're using the correct version of JavaScript. And so if you're completely new, I would just suggest you to go ahead and learn Java. Uh, and when I say learn, I don't really mean to learn completely, but know how to create a class, know how to create a function, know how to create a loop, uh, like all of the data types, integer, character, array, know how all of these work. And then I think it will be much, much easier for you to go into Solidity and follow my tutorials. So guys, uh, more videos in, in the Solidity series are coming uh, and the reason why I haven't been uploading for a few days is because I moved to London from Stockholm and I'm going to work as a developer here for two months uh, and I, I'm still figuring out how I'm going to film this because the thing is I can't really film at home because I have roommates and there are people in the apartment. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure if this is too weird, like recording in the office, but I think this is uh, this should work. This shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but um, I'm not sure which conference room I should have. So now I took a conference room. There are several other conference rooms I could take. Maybe they have a better a uh, camera angle. Uh, we'll figure it out, guys. But anyway, if you want to get into Solidity, get into Ethereum programming, I think it will be easier for you to, number one, learn basics of Java and then jump into Solidity. And it will be easier for you to follow my series and other series as well. So guys, that's it for today. A very short video today. Tomorrow will probably be a longer one because I think I will figure out how, to, how I will film during these eight weeks that I am in London. And uh, that's it guys. See you guys tomorrow.